Guys, I just want you to see the new and a used C26 auto feed. Toro, not Toro, from steel, but look. I've had this on here for really a good year. And it's, it's about had it. I can't do it, do it anymore. But this is the new one. Look at the difference. This is where your fingers groove in to wind it. Look at that. Completely worn out. I'm still getting my, my use out of it. But I don't even see the auto feed lines. They show you where you line it up and arrow it up too. Is when you're feeding this through here, you see that line right there? That line has to line up with the hole right there on the side. All right, now what I want to show you is, I'm going to show you on this old one right here. So I'm pulling this other line back. you line that up guys there's not a hole going straight through there all right it actually it's up under here and it kind of curves hold on i'm going to show you this just so you know you see right here there's no hole in here when i feed that string all right through that hole right there if you can see it all right when i feed it through that hole right there it's going to go in I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's gonna go in, it's gonna hit this wall, it's gonna go around that, then it's gonna come out on the other end. So there's no, when you feed this, there's not a string showing right here, guys. That's the steel C26 auto feed. And actually this bump head can come off and you can put another one on, but they only selling it in the entire unit as far as I know. So when you look through this, I want you guys to understand there's no clear hole that goes through this. I don't know where these guys are getting that information from. If it hits that wall, goes around, then it comes out. Okay guys, look, BYD here again. And this is back on this C26 auto feeder. Now I showed you some stuff earlier. This is worn out. All right, I wanna show you this. Like I said, when you feed this through here, it goes in here. This is going to be lined up with the eyelets on the outside. All right. And the reason I'm showing you this is because people think that it goes through here. When I stick this in here, right there in the center, or even if you catch one of the sides, but right here in the center, do you see it going through here? No. Now watch it's going to pop out. When you stick this in the auto feeder, it's going to hit this wall and go around and come out. Some guys were saying that, oh, it just goes straight through. It does not go straight through. Now, having said that, if you still old school with it and you don't want to use the auto feeder part, they still got the little notches where you can stick the string in and they snap down in there, one on that side and one on the other side. Now, this is the CP3 Pro. They don't call it that anymore. I don't know what they call it. But the difference with this string is, it's a three-way braided plastic and it has a little piece of metal in the middle. Now, one of the things about the auto feeder I try to tell people is, and I don't know if Steel is selling it like this, this entire unit run you about 20 something dollars, right? Just this part right here. The new bump head, you, you saw that in the other videos, but let me show you something. This actually pops off. If you could get this sold separately, and I hadn't seen a dealer that would sell it separately, but it'd probably be half the cost, and it literally just snaps back on to here. I mean, you gotta put a little pressure on it. Let me see if I can get it. Up. You see that notch right there? That notch? No, that's not it. Hold on. Okay, yeah, that notch right there. You can get the snap back in there. And that's how the C26 bump head actually works. Let me put it back on me. Now guys, I got a couple of videos at the top or bottom. Shows you how to put the spool on with the C26, the whole entire attachment. Click on that and I got another video talking about it. But that's some information you did not know about the C26 steel bump head. All right, guys, tune in to the Media Grass Central with BYD. I'll talk to you soon.